Hi everybody, my name is Aaron, founder and CEO of Caro. Hi, my name is Jeffrey, I'm founder and CEO of Testnet. So, Jeffrey, thanks for taking time. You know, I actually enjoy this particular setting because I get to interview you. Uh, so <laughs> no, this is supposed to be a two-way conversation. No, no, I think it's supposed to be interviewing. So anyway, first questions for you, right? So yeah. first questions first. What does innovation mean to you? To me, I would say innovative means trying using a new way, a new method to do something can be old but can be new as well. To me that is, as long as you do something that in your sample size, uh, your people around you haven't done before, to me you are innovative. Okay, so it doesn't matter how simple the innovation can be, as long as you are doing things differently that people have not done before, yep. it's considered innovation. Okay, Jeffrey, I think the instructions here that I have with me is for each of us to pick round robin okay. and then we are supposed to answer. Why don't you start? Computer crash or car breakdowns? Which one I prefer? <laughs> <laughs> I guess computer crash, at least you can just restart, but definitely not at the moment when I've done multiple slides and then suddenly crash. But nowadays, I use Office 365, everything is automatically mm, safe. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Electric car or autonomous vehicle? Oh my god. To me, EVs are not too dissimilar from a, from a combustion engine from that standpoint. And what is truly interesting, if you ask me about the future of, 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 of mobility, is autonomy, right? So autonomous driving has to be the one that, that I prefer versus like plain EV in that sense. Mm. EV without self-driving is not interesting. Living without Wi-Fi or living without your phone? Uh, both are tough. <laughs> yeah, I can't live without connectivity. I agree. Can you tell us through how PetSnap's uh, innovation came about? Or rather the, the full innovation story of PetSnap in one minute? In one minute? <laughs> that is tough. <laughs> <laughs> I won't view it as a journey of innovation. My own journey will be more like a journey of greed and persistence. That's all. Just keep trying, trying. Yeah, nothing innovative about it. <laughs> How have you steered your company into, into uh, using innovation, right, to success, so to speak? End of the day, actually, is I would say customer driven. Most of the time, is customers say they want to do X, Y, Z. And then our, I push our engineer, hey, can we do this? Our engineer say, no, can we, can we do X? But if you just keep pushing, pushing, sometimes you can do X, Y. May not be Z, Z, maybe sometime down the road, but you push more, they, they still will, will come out something different. Mm. How about yours? Like ourselves, we are very customer driven, right? Customer centric, so to speak. And a lot of the innovation that we do then tends to be in and around the fact that, okay, these are the customer needs today. Mm. How do we innovatively push the boundary? Where do you see the future of innovation in your industry? I think I, I shared this as well earlier during our conversation. I think machine learning is yeah. going to, to change a lot of things. For us specifically, we analyze text, so we apply a lot of NLP. So now we have a team of about 40. In the next couple of months, we want to double it to 80 people and more because there are so many things you can analyze throughout the unstructured text. Applying machine learning NLP will be a key breakthrough innovation in our space. For us, the, the way we think about innovation in future, right, is, is very straightforward, right? The key innovation here that we want to want to want for mass adoption, or for that matter, we want to push in the market, really is this whole concept and notion of buying the cars entirely online. Let me ask you one last question, <laughs> right, before we end the end of today, and this is not in the script at all. So what's next for PetSnap? You know, now that you guys are a billion dollar company, uh, you know, we, in, uh... we don't have a plan to IPO yet. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like you, you have a timeline to IPO. Luckily, I, I, I don't have yet. <laughs> I, have a, I, have a, I have a pressure. <laughs> so yes, IPO is a good milestone, but I will say PetSnap, we want to be IPO ready. Mm. In terms of that, that trajectory, for another trajectory, I will say, we just continue to innovate, continue to develop good product. I think the rest will come. Yeah, no, I fully agree. So, I mean, with that, I, I, I think let me conclude and say that <laughs> moving forward, we will just see PetSnap doing more and more good consumer product because PetSnap is not in the rush to anyway to IPO. There's no shareholder <laughs> pressure on that. No, no, we have, we have. Yeah, and, uh, and more importantly, <laughs> it is to get the company IPO ready, which is exactly what I said. Yeah. I actually fully agree with that on that statement. So, on that note, thank you so much for having me today and thank you so much for, for taking the interview. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Right. <laughs> thank you.